Hey guys, it is Kuda Crochet and I'm back with a haul. So as you can see here, I have a box of uh, yarn from Mary Maxim. I did order a mystery bag. I'm hoping it's completely different from my other two mystery bags, but I haven't looked in the box. So you guys are going to see my first time reaction to it so i'm just gonna stick my hand into the box and grab what i can now i can feel the first thing i can feel is the mystery bag so i'm just gonna try my best to not take that out and <laughs> try my best not to look okay so i did buy a lot of yarn from their um uh, sales section Usually when I buy yarn, I always do pairs, but this time I rather just get a single of whatever color I like just to see how it looks and feel before I go too crazy on their yarns. Okay, so this is, I think I only bought three of the bonbon in. I don't know how you pronounce that, Inse or Ints, but I'm just going to say Bon Bon. Um, I believe this is $1.99 per ball on their sales section, and I think this is the almond color from what I remembered ordering, because everything, I think this is Turkish. Everything is in Turkish or, or maybe Russian. No, it's a combo of Turkish and Russian. I don't know, but... Um, so this is my first time buying this yarn. It feels really nice. It's, it feels a hundred, yeah, it says a hundred percent acrylic, 300 meters. I don't know how many that is in uh, yards. Um, hopefully that's a lot. <laughs> uh, I think needles, three and a half, or cro crochet hooks, three and a half to four mm that's what i'm assuming that looks like i i don't understand anything else that's on this packaging but yeah so this is the bonbon and i believe this is the almond color it's a really nice neutral i wouldn't say soft brown but maybe close to like a light taupe so it's a really really nice feel so i think i'm going to use this to make possibly beanies I'm not sure so I'm gonna try and stick with the same brand so this is another bonbon um, I don't remember the color that it said it's a blue I definitely know that it's a nice dark I know it looks like a lighter blue because of my filter but it's a dark blue uh, feels really nice like the first one And then this one, I remember the name. This one's actually called Cherry Blossom. So it's a beautiful, beautiful pink. And hold on, I, I dropped <laughs> one of the yarns that I bought. Oh my gosh, okay. <sighs> so the bonbons are $1.99. And like I said, I only picked one of each or whatever color that I liked. So I specifically picked these three colors because I like the color combo of this together. So I'm thinking of making a beanie out of these. So getting into another sale item, this is called Nako. Um, I believe it's also $1.99. It says Nako Mona Lisa. It's machine washable. Um, 100% premium acrylic. I don't, I think this color is called Harvest on the site. It does recommend five and a half crochet hook and knitting needles five or five and a half. That's all I can, a hundred grams. 172 meters so uh, I think this is also in Turkish and Russian so 
I, I'm not sure. So, <laughs> um, I will put links to these products so you guys can get the full detail on these. Um, or actually, you know what? When I'm editing this video, I'll put the details somewhere around here for these yarns. So, like I said, I think this is Harvest. It's a really nice, soft acrylic. It kind of reminds me of... Actually, I would probably say it closely reminds me of the Karen Simply Soft or the Premier Ever Soft. So it's a really uh, soft and shiny acrylic yarn. And I would definitely see myself using this in a temperature blanket. And then with the same brand, Nako, I got the teal. So it's a really nice teal color. And this one's a nice, like, soft green color. And I believe I remember this one being called Forest Green on the site. So it's a really nice deep green. So these are the colors together. Oh, the light one, I think it's called Light Teal. This one's teal, maybe. I don't remember. But like I said, I'll put it on the screen. So together, well, I would definitely maybe take this one out. Um, these three together look really nice as a combo. So I was thinking of making um, a beanie with them, but because of how soft they are, uh, maybe I'll sh I should save them for a temperature blanket. I don't know, we'll see. And I think there might be, oh, wait, I feel more. <laughs> oh yeah, the shimmer. I forgot I ordered these. So these are Mary Maxim brand. I barely have any type of shimmer yarn. So I decided to get these. Now I don't remember how much I paid for them. Like I said, I will put it on the screen somewhere. Uh, so this is the Mary Maxim Glimmer, not Shimmer, but you guys know what I'm ta talking about. Like the, the glitter shimmer strands are in the yarn ball. Uh, it feels nice. It's, it's soft, but it's not too soft. It is, so it is made in Turkey. It's approximately 191 yards or 175 meters. 97% acrylic, 3% other, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, or three and a half. Did I say three and a half? I don't remember. So this is the light blue color, and it does have blue uh, shimmer in it or glitter. So really nice color. I love it. To be honest, I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to make out of these. I'm Maybe I'll try beanie just to see how it comes out. But like I said, we'll see. And also with these yarns, I only got one of whatever color that I liked. So this is mushroom. So it's a nice light brown color. And the glitter is more of like a gold color. So hopefully you can see the glitter glitter shimmer shimmer. <laughs> Okay, so this one is mint, and let me tell you guys, I'm a mint teal teal girl. Like, I love mint colors, teal colors, aqua colors. This is a beautiful, beautiful mint color. Really pretty. Uh, so the strands, it looks like those hollow, the hollow, like, strand glitter ones. It's not quite silver. It's more of like those hollow or maybe the white but it's really pretty. And then this one is cappuccino. So it is a nice brown color. And there is brown shimmer or glimmer through it. And the last one is, I believe, yep, lavender. So it's a nice light purple color. 
and it does I don't think it's a purple it looks more of like a pink strand through it but nonetheless it's still pretty so like I said I'm gonna test it out making a beanie out of it and see how it comes out oh I forgot to read the care instructions to you guys so it's machine wash on delicate setting in warm water tumble dry on low heat at delicate setting do not iron or press which makes sense <laughs> Um, it's a medium four. So, and it seems like the Nako and the Bonbon is probably a medium four as well. But like I said, I will post the info on the screen somewhere. Okay, now... I think that's all the individual yarns that I got. Let's see what they gave me in this mystery bag. Oh, I have the receipt. Forgot about that. So let me. Okay, so the glimmer yarns are $2.99 each. And the rest are $1.99 each. Okay. So if you guys don't know, if it's your first time seeing a Mary Maxim uh, haul, they do have mystery bags or mystery boxes that are $29.99 or $30 each bag. You do get a pretty good amount of cold. Oh my God. Guys. Look at this. Look, they gave me colors that I like. Oh my gosh, I'm, oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. This is completely, completely different from my other two bags. Um, I did watch Bag of Days, uh, latest Mary Maxim haul, and it looks, I think this is the exact bag that she got, which is the one that I really did want to get. So, I'm really excited. Okay, let's, let's jump into this. Okay, so the first one is Pat, is it Panton? Yeah, I think it's Panton. Uh, Shetland Chunky. So this is going to be great for uh, beanies. This is a bulky five. Recommended needle, 6mm. Recommended hook, 6mm. Uh, it is in the color of True Peacock. It's 75% acrylic, 25% wool. 100 grams, three and a half ounces, 136 meters or 148 yards. So it's soft, but not too soft. So it's a nice, beautiful blue color, but I will definitely be using this for a beanie. This is really, really nice. I like it. Wow, guys, they gave me eight of the mellow spun teal and i did buy two of these in a previous haul so i'm super uber happy to get more of these these are beautiful beautiful colors i'm trying to save these up for like a temperature blanket because of how soft they are uh so this is considered dark teal this is also this is also in their sale section so i believe it's still a dollar 99 each ball so it's 50 grams uh one three fourths quarter ounce 70 for 70 percent acrylic 30 percent nylon 174 yards or 160 meters recommends 4 mm knitting needles it's a light number three weight uh so this is called the L ultra mellow spun dk yarn uh so they gave me 80 of these which i'm super happy about because you guys like i said love my teals Actually, let me put these in the box. I don't. So, wow. They gave me four of these Simply Soft uh, Marled, which I don't have any of these. This is really nice. It has black, blue, and white in it. Uh, it's called Royal Blue Marl. It's a medium four, recommends 
5 mm kneading needles, 5 mm crochet hooks, machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic, 5 ounces, 141 grams, 240 yards, or 219 meters. And it's really soft and it's a beautiful, beautiful yarn. They gave me four of these. So I will definitely be making a beanie out of this. That's going to be an interesting, interesting beanie. And they also gave me the red version. So it does have red, white, and it looks like a light brown color. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I got a call. Wait, well. Sorry, <laughs> I got a call. So I wasn't sure if I paused it or played it. I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, back to the video. So yeah, the, oh, the color. Uh, this is Harvest Red Marl. So definitely we'll be making a beanie out of those. And the last two that I got, and they're, all they're both different. So I did get the Burnett Handicrafter. I uh, don't know... <sighs> Oh, it's called Waterfront Ombre. It's an okay ombre color. It's a medium four, recommends four and a half mm knitting needles, five mm crochet hook, one and a half ounces, 42.5 <laughs> grams, 68 yards or 62 meters. Um, I guess I might make a dishcloth out of this. I, I, I'm not particularly fond of this color combo uh it's okay so i got one of that color and then another burnett handicrafter this is the mod ombre so it's a little bit better looking than the other one <laughs> so uh these are pretty small um that's pretty much it in my mystery bag i'm really happy it's completely completely different uh, so I would definitely be buying from Mary Maxim like every two to three months instead of every six months. <laughs> and I'm super happy they gave me new patterns. So this one is my Princess Poncho. And it is a knitting pattern. They gave me a cabled diamond throw. And... It's also knitting. And crochet ridges blanket. Oh, this one's really pretty. That's a pretty, pretty one. Uh, crochet. Okay, I'm definitely going to be enjoying this pattern. We'll definitely be trying that out. And the Premier Icing Washcloth. I'm assuming it's also crochet. Yeah. Yeah. Because they usually give um, two crochet patterns and two knitting patterns. So I'm really happy with my mystery bag. I did order from them again, but no mystery bag this time. I uh, Since they were having that special sale going on 30% off one item, I decided to get a kit, which you will see later on next week. And I did order from Premiere as well, so you will see another haul. But anyways, that's pretty much it for my Mary Maxim haul. Um, I totally forgot to bring my whip again. Maybe in the next video. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye.